Thanks very much, guys. Before the Olympic flame has even been lit and the teams introduced, Jenny Jones will be involved in qualifying for her event, which is the slope style snowboard. Well, let's take a look at it. Competitors are marked for their artistic performance over a series of jumps and rails. Jenny's actually been competing and winning at the very highest level for more than a decade, but this is the first time the sport's been included at the Olympic Games. Well, Damien Derrick puts Jenny under the spotlight ahead of her biggest challenge yet. Jenny Jones. World class snowboarder. I just love it. I love the feeling of jumping, the airtime that you get. Just sort of the freedom to do what you want a little bit, that's what sort of snowboarding is and um, expressing yourself in different ways, whether it be that sort of trick on the rail or this kind of trick on the jump. Yeah, it's just, if anyone you know, gets to try it, then I definitely think persist to the jumping stage because you'll be chuffed with yourself <laughs> if you manage it. And Jenny has managed it many times. She's won three gold medals at the X Games the ultimate championship for extreme sports. But this is the first time her event has been included at the Winter Olympics. When they announced that Slopestyle would come into the Winter Olympics, I was, I was like amazed actually that it, was, that it was brought in and then quite excited that I had a new challenge really. Um, and to you know, feel like now I'm actually going to represent my country is just an amazing feeling. So for people who don't know what uh, snowboard slope style is, explain okay. it very briefly. So snowboard, snowboard slope style is when you come down a course, it's not a race, it's not timed. It's about what kind of tricks you do um, on jumps and on rails. So there'll maybe be two or three jumps and two or three rails and it's how technical and how well you execute them. It's a difficult sport, you get injured a lot but you stayed at the top, how have you done that? Um, it's nice that you think that I'm still at the top, which is cool. Um, I think it's just l looking after yourself, um, trying to be a bit disciplined with rehab when you do get injured and um, remember, remembering to take time in looking after your body because it's what's your tool really in helping you and enjoying the sport as much as I can in lots of different ways so that it never gets too stale or boring. Um, yeah, and just having a love for learning tricks. <laughs> If you keep learning tricks, then you'll keep staying, you know, at the top of, in the competitive side of things. And how did you get into snowboarding? My parents took my brother and me to the local dry slope in Churchill and we just had a go, a free half hour lesson in snowboarding and we didn't learn a lot but we just thought it was really cool. Um, and then I decided to take it a bit further and I convinced Filton College to arrange a, a week snowboarding trip with me and my friends and we had an absolute blast, yeah, snowboarding in the Italian Alps. And lastly, what would it mean to you if you were able to come back with an Olympic medal to add to all your X Games medals? At this stage, I'm not even thinking about it. <laughs> all I'm thinking about is getting there, which I've finally done, and now enjoying myself when I get there and the first stage, which is qualification. That's the first step for me, is qualifying into the semis. But you know how she